So, hi everyone, um, I thought I'd do a different vlog today and this one is more so based on a blog post that I did last year for Pelican Healthcare. So for those of you wishing to read the blog post, if you click the link that is in my bio, that will take you straight through to it. For those of you on Facebook, I have included the link within the description on the video that I've posted. So, something that gets asked a lot in groups but doesn't necessarily get explained is about periods both after stoma surgery both after stoma surgery after stoma surgery and after barbie butt surgery so periods for women is a part of life uh, some of us are lucky enough to not start until we're 14 or 15 but obviously the periods will go on until you hit uh, menopause and um, now, things that aren't often explained, especially for a woman when you do have stoma surgery, is the fact that periods, well, not so much your actual period, but the build up to having a period um, can have an effect on both your stoma output, on your stoma site, and there are a couple of issues that you may well experience. So for those of us that are like me that have irritable bowel disease or Crohn's disease, the build up to my period is not overly pleasant. Um, the reason being for that is when you are due on, your hormones go all over the place. Um, and it causes issues so for one that would be cramping two that would be exacerbated bowel movements so for those on the build up to their period may well suffer from diarrhea um, during your period you have the opposite effect and you can suffer from constipation now when you've got irritable bowel disease um, especially during a flare um, build up to period is one of the worst things that we can go through not everybody suffers but for those of us that do it isn't very nice now um after having stoma surgery done there is a time when you may not have periods for up to three months after having your stoma surgery done um for those of you that have like me that have had extensive stoma surgery um there was a fu well wasn't funny incident i i had a bit of a meltdown um when i had my stoma surgery done in 2016 i also had a dilius um Adilisis removal which is scar tissue that was removed from my pelvis um, because I have endometriosis that has been brought on because of all the surgery that I have had done my con my pelvis and my pelvis area especially my uterus are sticking to places that they shouldn't be sticking I also have a lot of scar tissue which in in turn leads to a fair amount of pain um prior to having my period it's something that I have lived with for the last 11 years it's not going to get any better it's not going to get any worse it just is what it is now when I had the scar tissue <laughs> removed in 2016 um I had my catheter removed I think it was three days post-op and I literally got put my leg up onto the bed I the nurse then had to help me shift my other leg on and there was just literally blood everywhere I was just obviously once I'd had the catheter taken out the plug had been removed and it was just it was just a massacre I happened to have a rather nice brand new cream time for tea nighty on at the time and I had to be cut out of it the amount of blood that was that bad don't worry it is one of those things if you have had scar tissue removed or they have been having a tinker down in there sometimes bleeding is an end result now when you've had the surgery done um it takes time for your hormones to level it takes time for your body to recuperate so your body uses its energy and its sources to healing so you may well have a delayed period and then your first period after your stoma surgery may last anything between a week to a month just until your hormones regulate and your body gets back to feeling like its normal self now um when in the build up to the period did you know that women can gain anything between three to five pounds in water weight if you think about it if it's close to the five pound that's close to the half stone mark things do swell up so i find that my stomach gets a bit bloated my stoma site becomes a bit uneven and a bit tender 
and I find that my output is massively exacerbated by this. So I go to pure water in maybe three to four days in, um, prior to my period. Um, it's part of the reason why I wear maxi bags and it's part of the reason why um, sometimes I use a two piece, which is this, which then means that when my output is thick and constipated during my period, I can wear the smaller bags and then I can switch to the larger bags. And also with the petaled base plate, if my my stoma site is a bit bloated if my tummy is a bit bloated because of the petals and because of how soft the base plate is it just molds and it kind of moves with anything with everything so I don't suffer with leaks um also I use the slims which is obviously the barrier ring which I rip and wrap those things are a lifesaver when your output is like water um since I've been using those I've gone from daily changes to three to four days with a one piece and I can last up to seven sometimes eight days with the two piece um after Barbie butt surgery this is when things get a little trickier so when you've had your large bowel removed it doesn't happen to everybody but I know it has happened to me and it's happened to a few others your uterus tilts back into the space or the cavity that was that where your large bowel used to prop it up it tilts back so periods will change so to be overly graphic and I do apologize for this but it's like a plug so because my uterus is tilted back when I have my period um nine times out of ten it doesn't come out unless I actually pee so for those of you that are having periods after barbie butt surgery don't have a heart attack when you do check the toilet bowl um it's just the fact that because you're because you've you've sat and the way that you're sitting on the toilet it kind of tilts everything forward so it's like a release so then it comes out um the other thing that you may well find as well especially after barbie butt surgery is that you may not be able to use tampons anymore it's just the reason being things tilt back so you don't get a snug of fit or they're not as comfortable or sometimes it can be painful to put them in I mean I use always I use the towels I haven't been able to use tampons for years I mean you do have other alternative options so for those of you with a stoma if um, oral contraceptives are not an option for you then you do have the likes of the Depo-Provera which is the injection you have the implant that gets put into your arm which will stop periods you also have the patch that goes on the arm or the other option is is that you can have the marina coil I don't have the marina coil I have the old T section coil um, because I'm overly sensitive to hormones and when I'm on anything that is hormone based it kind of turns me into the Hulk and people don't like me very much so I I stick with what is good for me and that doesn't send me off my rocker. Um, other things with regards to the period. So if you are, if your output is flushing and you are finding that you are craving more fluids and that you are feeling dehydrated, um, mixing something like St. Mark's Solution or Dioralite into whatever you're drinking so whether it be squash or it be water those of you for an ileostomy plain water is um, like playing with danger levels because it does in fact actually flush your system through so if you are using electrolyte tabs or you are using say diarolite or St Mark solution that is a better option rather than just drinking drinking plain straight water because it will flush you straight through um, you can take loperamide which will help to at least bind your output down um, for those of you that are struggling with bag changes during that time of the month then if you use um if you are planning a bag change try and do it in the morning when you've been fasted overnight just because that will make life easier and you won't be there trying to stem whatever godly out ungodly output is deciding to come out at the time um your stoma site may feel a bit tender it may be a bit swollen but three to four days into your period that does tend to calm down um so that is me for overly graphic periods and stomas to date so for those of you that wish to read the blog post which does have tips and tricks and other people's experiences in it if you please check the link in my bio that will have the blog post that takes you to periods after barbie butt surgery for those of you on facebook that will i will include that link within the uh, comment section with well the post that i put i think i've included the link just underneath the bottom underneath the writing and um, for you to take a look uh, please feel free to share if you think that 
it will help other people and uh, that's it for me today about periods and time of the month it's rather up because i'm on at the moment uh, my output is really really thick so i'm having to drink more fluids to kind of flush my output out a little bit um, so that's it for me for periods for those of you um, watching this obviously stay safe don't go panic buying um, obviously stay away from anybody that's coughing <laughs> um, and I will be doing more vlogs soon so thank you all for watching I'll be back with another video soon and happy Monday people bye